This is the vegan version of the Italian pasta carbonara. Hi everyone, I am Luca, I'm Italian. This is my first video ever in English and in my kitchen. What I will try to do on this channel is to cook the vegan version of the most famous Italian dishes. If you like to eat, if you enjoy cooking, benvenuti nella mia cucina, welcome in my kitchen. Let's start with the, probably the most famous Italian dish the carbonara pasta. Before to start in the kitchen a little bit of history about the carbonara dish. Everyone believes that the carbonara is a typical dish of Rome, the Italian capital city. But the truth is that we must thank the American army for this dish. In fact it was 1944 when the American army after having freed the city of Rimini asked to cook something special to celebrate the event to a young chef named Renato Guarlandi. Guarlandi only had bacon and eggs, ingredients provided by the American army, but thanks to his Italian creativity he invented what is now considered one of the most popular dishes in the world. Of course we cannot use these ingredients in the vegan version of this dish. We will start with bucatini, which is a special type of pasta with an hole inside, but also if you use other type of pasta it's okay, doesn't matter. Instead of pancetta we will use smoked tofu and instead of egg we will use a mix of farina di ceci which in English is called uh, let me check. Chickpea flour. Chickpea flour and curcuma, which is turmeric in English. We will also use a special ingredient, which is the Kalanamak salt. If you taste a little bit, mm, it's incredible how it uh, tastes like uh, egg. I will leave the link in the description of the video to buy it on Amazon. It's incredible and we will use it to make the special cream to put on the pasta and uh, it will taste incredibly like a real egg. Let's start with the water. We put water on the cooker and we put this quantity of salt, it's okay. And while the water boiling, we are gonna make the special cream we will use on the pasta. We take the chickpea flour and we put inside something like this. But not directly, we have to pass through this because if not, you will create something which is a sheet. Now we put some hot water, you have to mix very well. A little bit of soy milk a little bit of turmeric which will give the color of the egg and mix it perfect some pepper of course not too much because we can also add the pepper at the end when the pasta will be ready last but not least a little bit of the secret ingredient which is the kalanamak salt We will cut the smoked tofu in very little pieces. More little they are and more flavor they will transfer to the pasta. We put some olive oil inside the pot, not too much, and we will put the smoked tofu inside. Of course it's not a real pancetta, but it tastes similar. Another one. Good. While you wait, you can just mix a little bit more the creamy we made. More you mix, more it will be good. Look the color, perfect. It look like a real egg. Look, it's perfect. The water is boiling, so it's time to put the pasta in. We used to put 100 grams of pasta for each person. Pasta must be put in this way. 
You don't have to break the pasta, you have to push the pasta inside the pot. Very gentle and softly. To cook the pasta we have to follow what we have on the package. In this case, look, 8 minutes, 8 minuti. Let's prepare the drainer for the pasta because in 3 minutes we will put pasta out of the pot. Pasta must be a little bit crunchy, not too much, but a little bit because we will finish to cook the pasta together with the creamy sauce and the tofu. After 7 minutes should be perfect. Perfect. You have to take a little bit of the cooking water. It's very important. Let's dry the pasta. Put some olive oil in the pot, not too much, and put the pasta inside the pot. Turn on the fire. If we cook the pasta at number 9 or 8, now 5 is okay. Let's put the tofu inside. Let's have a first mix with the pasta and tofu. And now let's put the creamy sauce. Perfect. Let's mix together. It's wonderful. If it's not creamy enough, just add a little bit of the boiling water. You have to mix very well. We can also put some pepper. We take this plate from the oven. This plate is really hot because if you would like to have a real good pasta, you have to taste it in a hot plate and put the pasta inside the plate. You can put more pepper on it, a little bit of olive oil. If you have uh, a vegan version of uh, cheese, you can just put it a little bit on it. That's it. This is the vegan version of the Italian pasta carbonara. I hope... Mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will try to cook vegan carbonara as well. Let me know in the comment if you would like me to cook for you some uh, other Italian dishes, famous dishes. Ciao belli! Ci vediamo al prossimo video. See you in the next video.